Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how to trigger bulk SMS from Nolarity's SMS panel. This panel gives user to broadcast any message regarding their business to their leads. To access this panel, type smsmessenger.nolarity.com in your search bar and this page will open. A username and password will be provided to you. Just enter those credentials and click on login and you will have access to this panel. This panel can be viewed in different languages too. If you click here, you can see that this panel is available in these languages. Once you log in, this is how your dashboard will look. This chart above gives the real-time traffic details of the campaigns triggered by the user. It gives the details as new as 15 minutes to current day or yesterday, weekly or month-wise or it can be customed as per your time range. You just have to select a start date, suppose, and an end date and click on apply changes and then you can see your chart is updated. If you want to see the details of today then you can just click on today and you can see the details of your traffic chart for today along with this there are different charts available in your dashboard these charts can be customized as per your requirement you can add these charts by clicking on add chart and customize it as per your requirement just select any of the charts any of these charts click on custom and select any of your desired options here click on add then you can select of from for which timeline range or which date range you want the chart chart to show your details So here the chart is added in. Before creating a campaign and broadcasting the SMS, let's start by uploading the contact list of the clients and leads. Navigate to this menu, click on it and select people. This is where you will upload your contacts or your leads. You can add your contacts in two ways, either by selecting the add people or importing the list of your contacts from your laptop or computer. While importing, the pop-up message mentions the type of file and size of the file which is supported by the SMS panel. If you want to upload your contacts through add person, just click on it. Here you can insert the details of your contact. The destination means the phone number and email address of your clients and lead. Enter the phone number. It should be entered in this format. Click anywhere outside and this is auto saved. To add an email address to this client, click on the add destination and enter the email ID. Similarly, click anywhere outside and the record is auto-saved. Click on the attributes and you can see you can add further details to your lead or your client. While you're entering these details, they are getting all auto-saved. And you can see that the name is already updated when, when you entered your client name. Click back to the people and click on this list view. And you can see that your client is added into the panel. 
The plus one here, if you navigate here, you can see the client's emails also. If you choose to upload your contact list by importing file from your laptop and computer, then just click on this import people and select a file. Click on open. Fill in the data. If, if your contact list does not have a country prefix added to it, you can add it from here. And click on Analyze. While analyzing, it will check if there is any invalid data in your file or any duplicate entries. If there is any, it will automatically resolve it too. You can also apply tags to your file. Just click on it. And if there is any existing tag, you can select it and apply to it. Click on the import. And your list is inserted here, your client list, as you can see. One more point I want to add here is about the tags. Tags are the contact lists which you upload from your computer. When adding any leads data through add person or import data, you can assign them these tags. Click on the manage tags and it will show your uploaded contact list. You can assign these contacts to these uploaded files. Click on any of the file. and click on the apply. So this contact is assigned is assigned to this uploaded file. Similarly, when you import people from your laptop or computer, from there also you will get an option to assign them tags. Click on Analyze and from there you can assign tags to them by selecting it from this drop down menu. Click on Import and they are assigned a tag this way. You can manage your tags by clicking on the Tags tab here. You can delete them also or create a new tag. Here your tag is created. Now you know how to upload and manage your contacts. Next is how you can broadcast SMS to these contacts. Navigate to this menu here. Select SMS. Click on the Campaigns tab. This is where you can create campaigns and broadcast your messages to your clients through SMS. You can create campaign in two ways. Either you create a new campaign or use a template. Let's create a template first. Click on the menu and select templates. Here you can create your templates. Select create. And in the drop down menu, select create SMS template. Assign a name to your template. Form parameter here is the sender ID you have to select. Select your sender ID and create a body of your SMS text. Like I have entered a sample SMS. Click on save template and you will get a success message here that your template is saved. Click back on this templates tab and you can see that your SMS template is saved here. You can also sort these templates. Just click on the collections, create a new collection. Add a name and 
and add your template. You can add one or more than one template. Like this. You can even delete them. Just set navigate here and click on delete and this template is removed. Click on create. And when you click back on collections tab, now you can see that you have created a folder of your collections. Click back. And all, you can also remove the templates or modify it with new added templates. Just select it, add it, and click on create. And your collection is updated. You can also delete this complete collection folder. Just click on this delete button. Click on yes. And your collection is removed. Now we have created our templates. Let's move on and create a campaign. Click on the campaigns tab. From this drop down menu, click on new campaign. Add a name to your campaign. To here is the contact list from where to where you want to send or broadcast your message. You can either upload your file directly from your computer or you can add from the people where we uploaded our contact list. Select your sender ID and select your SMS. Once you have entered all your details, you can see that they, it shows total message to because my contact file or my contact list which I have uploaded, the file which I have uploaded has only two numbers. It will also show the message cost. You can also send a test SMS to any of your numbers like and click on it will also show total message and uh, cost and everything click on set and you will get a test sms success this way you can check how the message will be shown in your leads mobile how will they receive the sms before you broadcast it to your client list once you are sure about your SMS, click on the launch and it will show you a preview of the SMS. Now you can see you have got a success message of your campaign. To view your campaign, click on show all campaigns and here you can see your campaign is created here. This way, uh, your clients will start receiving SMS on their mobile numbers and your SMS is broadcast to your leads or contact list. When you scroll down, you can see all the campaigns created from your panel. You can see all the list. It will show you the expense and total traffic and status and the time it, so it was created. Another important feature in this SMS panel is you can Broadcast your SMS in any language. It can be Hindi. You can send a Hindi SMS. You can send the SMS in Kannada or in Punjabi or Tamil or Bengali. So basically it supports multiple languages. So this is the overview of your SMS panel. Goodbye.